How you doing? It's uh, Nelson George. I'm at the British Museum uh, for BlackAtlas.com. I'm sitting here with Bonnie Greer, who's author, writer, very prominent figure in the British cultural scene. She's also a trustee. Deputy chair. Deputy chair of the British Museum, which opened in 1753. Yo, how crazy is that? You're from Chicago. South Side. South Side, Chicago. Born and bred. And you've already been, you've done theater training and Theater, I, I, I graduated from DePaul University, uh -huh. and then I studied with David Mamet. I worked with Joe Papp. Oh, sure. I worked at the Joseph Thurman up in Harlem. I worked uh -huh. at the Actors Studio. And then about 1986, I decided to bring a play over to the Edinburgh Festival, which and is And the Edinburgh Festival, we should do, that is a major event in Europe. Exactly. And it's the big theater fall. every year. Right. And it's a big theater festival, English language theater festival. Uh -huh. And a bunch of sisters and I thought, out of the public theater, thought we want to go see Europe and let's take a play over. Mm -hmm. I came over and at the time you could only have a six month visa. Okay. So I thought, right, I'll just stay here for six months. But then somebody offered me a job and this one I offered me another job and blah, blah, blah. And then I met an English guy and I got married and then I thought, right, I've been here long enough. And then suddenly something said, maybe your destiny is here. I kept getting jobs and jobs and jobs and jobs and jobs and jobs. These jobs were, 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 were in the theater, they writing. were in the writing. And then I started uh, being a critic for a theater critic right. and then I got a critics job on TV and then I think through that I probably came to notice the British Museum and then I got invited to supper here which is how the English do it. They invite <laughs> you to supper because you don't know what's going on but right. they're, they're kind of looking at you. Then I was invited to become a trustee and then after five years I got promoted. How do you, how do you find your experience as a black woman living in, in UK 2000, 21st century? Um, first of all I'm the thing that will shock people, especially African Americans when they come, it's the first time I think that you understand what an American is. Because back home, you know, we live at home, we don't really, I mean, I'm just speaking for myself, but there's not a super identification with the word America. I mean, we're mm. part of the African America. When I first came here at the end of the 80s, I would be in rooms where people were talking about black people and they were talking about them to me as if I wasn't black because I'm an American. But, yes. Now that we've got a black American in the White House, that's even gone even further. Mm. I'm very interested in harnessing now some of our energy and making what I call a new triangularity. I want to make a new triangular relationship with Africa, the Caribbean, and the Americas, and with Europe, where people of African descent can come together. One of the reasons I'm at the museum is to try to use that hmm. to make a, a system by which we can do education, culture, and also some of the beautiful objects that exist in the diaspora to move them around this system. The old triangular relationship with slavery and the new triangular relationship should be ourselves. These are called the Benin bronzes and they are, they have a long history. But what's important about them and why I love them being here is because these objects helped Western Europe to understand the glory and the artistry of Africa and African art. Before that, largely, African art wasn't considered existence at all. It didn't exist. Mm. Let's talk a bit, bit about the British Museum. Mm. Now you're the deputy? Yeah, there are three deputy chairs okay. and I'm the newest deputy chair. The British Museum was founded in 1753 out of a collection of a man named Hans Sloan who's fortune was his wife's fortune, okay. and it was built on uh, uh, sugar cane. Okay. And um, that's kind of an issue in Britain as a whole, because so much of, of British heritage, a lot of it, the great houses, the museums, built on sugar cane. Uh, and we're working to get that legacy visible to everybody, so they can start to see the foundations of this culture. This is a museum for the world. It's located in London, and its title indicates the time that it was made. But this is a world center of, 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 of human objects. And so we see ourselves as having our collection. My, my job, my legal job, um, I would have been appointed by the prime minister. Is how you I saw, come I on saw board. I Gordon Brown mm. uh, appointed you. Like whoa. Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, you would have been appointed the prime minister, <laughs> and then your job, your main job as a trustee, is to protect and conserve the collection of about seven million objects. That's my main job. Are you the first person of color to be to have this 
to be a yes, yes. I would think yes, and I also have. I'm also a signatory on what's called the seal okay. of the British Museum, which means I can officially, if I'm asked to, put my hand to an official document that says the British Museum, and this would be on behalf of the people of the United Kingdom and and all the, the you know the whole thing. <laughs> and uh, I know it's wild. I haven't thought about it. Yes, but it's it's. <laughs> It's, it's, it's great and it's, um, it's, it's a great privilege. It's, it's a wonderful thing. You're one of the few people that I know of who's moved to another country and become a part of the culture in a very deep way. Mm. And, mm. And, uh, As you said, I'm realizing it. But like yeah. I say, it's been moment to moment to right. me. It's been such an accident that I found myself in these places. But uh, I'm very proud to be here because this affords me the chance to realize the reason I moved from America in the first place, mm. which was to be in the world, and to be an African American in the world, and to be a South Sider in the world. One of my idols is James Baldwin, sure. and James Baldwin loved the British Museum. So my dad loved the British Museum, so to be a part of the British Museum at this level is to honor this Mississippi-born man who was my late father, to honor James Baldwin, and to also say something about this museum as a world center, as a place for everyone. So it's very moving for me, and, and I feel privileged being here every day, and I'm just thrilled you're here with me. Uh, I want to thank Bonnie. And what's the name of your book about Obama? It's called Obama Music, uh, Some Notes from a South Sider Abroad. Obama Music, Some Notes from a South Sider Abroad, which I'm sure you can get on Amazon. Absolutely. Uh, anyway, well, it's been a pleasure, and thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, darling. It's usual to see thank you. you. And great to be here at the British Museum for blackatlas.com.